two things before we get started on this video. The first is 100,000 subscribers. I'm going to get it today, guys. I, I honestly, I, I, I made a goal at the beginning of 2023 that by 2024, I would have 100,000 subscribers. But I was joking. It wasn't like a real goal. So thank you so much for everyone that subscribed. Thank you for everyone that supports me. It's, it's an amazing feeling. The second thing is if you're not a coder, I highly recommend watching this video from yesterday. This free ChatGPT SEO script is worth millions. A little bit of a baity title, but I could have sold, I could have made a product and sold it and made probably millions. But instead, I just decided to release it. So, I mean, it's not that clickbait, even though some people are complaining. But that video is a really, really good introduction into what we're doing today. Now, I have been getting a million requests to turn my ChatGPT assistant autoblogger into an informational autoblogger. Now, that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to show you how I change GPTs, how I make them do what I want. And then at the end, we're going to have something that we're going to release. Now, this isn't an official release, and I'm not saying that the thing that I'm going to release at the end of this video is going to be the best autoblogger, et cetera, et cetera. But it will do something that a lot of people have been asking me to work out. Now, you may remember Tiny Home Hub. This is kind of, it's become a bit of a spammy website now, to be honest with you. Like, I, I don't know what happened. I think I forgot to turn the tool off or something, and it just keeps writing. It is what it is. But I have found out a way to get a image sitemap from WordPress. So that's the first thing I'm going to show you how to do. So this auto blog that we're going to make in this video is supposed to be a way to fill in the gaps. So a lot of people say that you need like 70% informational content, 30% affiliate content, right? So this is a way for now at least to fill in that gap. So the first thing we need is this plug in right here. So it's called Google XML sitemaps generator. So you can install it. It's this one here, dynamic XML sitemaps generator for Google. Sorry. So we'll search for that. And then once it's installed, activate it as usual. And then that should take you to your installed plugins. And then it's this one here, Google XML sitemaps generate, click on settings and then click on media sitemaps and then press the enable image sitemap. Now I do want to say, okay, like I don't care about tiny home hub. So you sh it doesn't really matter if I mess it up a bit. So just be careful if you do care about your website, because for example, you're going to replace your rank math sitemap, which could cause a problem. So make sure actually to change the URL here if you already have a sitemap. Okay. So if you're working on a big website that you actually care about, just be careful of that. And then media sitemaps, there shouldn't already be an image sitemap. So once you, once you uh, make this one, it shouldn't affect anything. So open it here. And then there's a couple of things you can do. You can, what, what I recommend you do is you just um, control A and then control C. But because it's such a massive file, you don't really want to use it on this in, in this context. So we're just going to close that. And then we're going to open a new notepad. So just go to notepad and then just control V. And then that should put it in a readable enough format for uh, chat GPT to read it. Okay. Now this is quite a long file, but I'm going to delete some of it because a lot of this is just useless crap that I don't really want to link to. So I, I really want to work on pillar pages in this video. It's not really about blog posts. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete a lot of these blog posts because I don't really need them. So we'll go from, yeah, these are all my pillar pages under here. So we'll just delete everything else or we'll just copy this actually because it's shorter. So I'm going to show you everything in this video. It's going to be quite slow. Um, feel free to put me on two times speed if I'm going too slow for you. And then once you get to the bottom, control A and then control V. There we go. So now we have a list of URLs with some images and bonus points if you have used good image names. Okay. So a lot of these have good image names. Some of them don't, but it is what it is. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to my 
uh, chat GPT assistant GitHub page. Again, watch yesterday's video if you don't know what I'm talking about from this point onwards, because I explain everything in detail in that video. So we're going to copy this and then we're going to go to Visual Studio Code, which if you again, if you watch yesterday's video, you should already have it installed. We'll click File, New Window. And then File, Open Folder. And then New Folder, give it a name. Select Folder. Click these three dots, Terminal, New Terminal. And then we'll do Git, Clone paste uh, name. So you write name, whatever you want. Um, I, I'm just going to write name because I'm running out of ideas for names at this point. So then you want to open the folder. You want to find name, wherever it is. There it is. And then select it. This opens it in the workspace. And then we have the auto blogger, the e-commerce auto blogger. Now let's turn this into an informational autoblogger instead. So the first thing is we can get rid of two men test.py because I just don't think it's needed. So we'll just remove that. And then we're going to rename uh in turn we're going to re rename products.txt to brand images and links.txt and then we're also going to remove internal links.txt and then we're going to control A, control C, and then inside brand images and text, we're going to control A, control V. There we go. So now it has all of the pages and all of the images that we're going to embed into the blog posts. Now, we don't want to go crazy with this, obviously. So, um, yeah, it's fine. I think, I think this, is, this is good. So now we need to start changing the, um, the other stuff. So just because I'm lazy and I want to go quick, I'm just going to use my topical authority generator to quickly generate some topics. So tiny home homes, hit enter. I wish I had had the topical authority generator when I first started this website. And then I'm just going to hit stop and I'm just going to say, great. Now put these in this format. And then it's just going to give me some. So just quickly, the, a lot of these are repeats, but I'm just doing it because it's an example. Like, yeah, I, I would filter out repeats and, you know, whatever else. So copy code here. And then inside two men, you can, I'm just going to rename this because it's annoying me. Content plan. Inside content plan.csv, you can control A, control V, and then press delete once and then control S. Okay. And then we're pretty much ready. We just need to start changing how this works. Now, you can do this yourself if you feel confident, or you can use ChatGPT. But I think this is fairly simple. So what we really need to change first is the files that are uploaded, right? So we don't really need to change the function. We just need to change what it's uploading, OK? So we're going to just upload brand images and links.txt instead of this one. So we'll just between the inverted commas, highlight everything and then control V. That was supposed to be relative. Uh, oh. Okay. And then we don't need this anymore. So let's delete this. But first what we can do is we can copy this and we can see where else it's highlighted. So it will also have to be deleted here, otherwise it will give an error. So we'll delete it here. And then we'll delete this entire line here. And then we need to change the name of the content plan. So copy relative path again. Highlight between the inverted commas. I don't think the name is needed, but it might throw up an error afterwards. And I need to have the slash name there. OK, now what we have to do is we have to change the prompts so it's no longer writing e-commerce. Now, I do have to apologize in advance if my keyboard is loud. There's not really much I can do about it, guys. My other keyboard, my quiet keyboard broke. So, yeah. Let's make this a bit bigger. So we can all read this. There we go. OK, so at the moment, the first instruction, this is the assistant instruction. OK, so this is creating the assistant, which is probably the most important instruction. So every article should have three brand images minimum. Uh, images and links to their pillar pages. 
minimum. When finding brand images, ensure they are relevant to the specific article you are writing. You must ensure the brand image links are fully and written fully and correctly. Every article must have brand images and and their uh, how do you say that respective respective uh, internal link include at least three real brand image URLs in the final articles. Choose only relevant brand images. I'm just going to write pages here instead of images. Do not invent internal links. Never invent links or brand images. Never use sources or footnotes. Read. Um, I might actually just put this at the very top. Read brand images and links.txt. There we go. Um, never invent internal links or brand images. Never use source of it. You always choose five strictly relevant brand images and internal links to the articles. You do not use sources in the outline. You just pick five brand Images that are highly relevant to the article. First, you read the attached files and understand them completely. Then you create a detailed outline on about including maximum five highly relevant images and brand image links. These will, there we go. Okay. So you need to copy from this I to this comma and then double click and then control V like that and then indent and then control S. Okay. So we now have the assistant created. It does something slightly different but it's still pretty much doing the same thing. Then we need to do the get internal links. So we need to double click here, control C and then control V. Read the read brand images and links.txt. Choose five internal links, internal links. Choose five relevant pages, their links and five and their re and their respective images that are relevant to blog post idea. For example, um, uh, I think yeah, that's fine. So we'll just copy that. And then control V. <clears throat> oh. This is why you should get ChatGPT to do things. I think I've got an error here. Let's try that paste again. I think this time I'll just highlight it like this and paste. Okay, there we go. No error. So we'll control S there. This is now reading brand images and links.txt, choosing five relevant pages, their links and their retrospective images, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Respective. <laughs> Highlight this prompt, control A, control V. Okay. Do not invent image links. That's fine. Use the brand images and internal links from get internal links. I might just add a read brand images. No, actually, I think it's fine. Oops. And use them to create an outline for an article or blog post idea. In the outline, do not use sources of footnotes, but just add relevant brand images in a relevant section and a relevant internal link in a relevant section. There is no need for a lot of sources. Each article has some five brand images minimum. Minimum. Okay. Control V. Control S. And then the final one is the uh, request to write the article. These are all in the same thread, all in the same message. Use grade seven level uh, US English. Do not use overly creative or crazy language. Write as if writing for the Guardian newspaper, just give information. Don't write like a magazine. Use simple language. Do not invent image links. You are writing from a first person plural perspective for the business. Refer to it in the first person plural. You can change any of this. This is, this is like, you can think of this as your writing prompt, okay? Add a key takeaway table at the top of the article, summarizing the main points. Never invent internal links or brand 
images. <clears throat> Choose five internal links and five brand images that are relevant to an article, and then write a detailed article based on the following outline, but put it into a proper title, which invites a click. Title should be around 60 characters. Include the brand images and internal links to uh, other pillar pages naturally and with relevance inside the article. Use markdown formatting, ensure to use tables and lists to add to formatting. Use three relevant brand images and pillar pages with internal links maximum, never invent internal links. Okay, control C, control V, control S. And then I think we can just run it and hope for the best here. So this might not work. I will say that right now, this might not work. So Python testing 3.py, we're not in the right directory. So CD name. Oh, I'm in a folder called name and then inside that there's a name. Oh yeah. So the first thing we should have done was add the API key. So let's do that now. I will be deleting the secret key at the end of this video. So don't, don't bother trying to, trying to steal it or anything. So, and then we'll run the script again. Again, this might not work. Normally I do a lot of testing. Oh, I need to change. Um, so this copy this, this is still mentioned somewhere. So let's do control F two men. Ah, yes. That makes a lot of sense. Control V, delete the name part because I, oh, maybe it is relevant. We'll see in a second if it's needed. I might need to put the slash name because I just realized I'm inside a folder called name, inside the folder called name for some reason. We'll let this run for a second and see what happens. So if we actually just hop on over to assistance here in, in the playground, we can see that at 2.45, so one minute ago, there was an assistant created. Um, sometimes files don't show up, but you can see that this is the instructions here. So it should run. It looks like it is running. Perfect. So it's already got the internal links. It's got the brand images. I'm super, super curious to see what happens here. Okay, so we have our first outline here. What I like to do is I like to hit control and then just open a few of these to make sure these are actually working. Yeah, this isn't found because it's uh, a little bit messed up. There's a little bit. I just need to delete that. That should be findable. No. I don't know why, but I'm so, I'm so nervous. I'm really, really nervous to see what happens here. So we're going to do GPT 3.5 and we're going to format the article live. That should be the first one there. Yep. So exploring innovative tiny home designs. That's control C, control V. And I'll just say format this article properly. Let's see what happens. Why am I so nervous? Oh, it looks like the images haven't worked. Oh, they have worked. Oh, amazing. Okay, so um, the output could be better. It could be longer, but I really, really like that it's um, it's yeah successfully emb embedded images from your website. So what you can do is you can now take what I've just shown you in this video, and you can make it better. You can work out you know, which images you want to push, which pillar pages you want to push. But this is a perfectly acceptable pillar page. I'll tell you right now, you do not need, you know, 1,500 words for a pillar page. This on its own will rank on Google as a pillar page. It's pretty much the same thing that I did for my pillar pages, except it's, it's much, much quicker to do it this way. So I will just show you how many words this is in total, just because I, I, I think it'll be under 500 just to warn people, but 457. That's fine for me. This would rank on Google as a pillar page. However, if you're watching until the very end of the video, as usual, you're a legend. And I just want to let you know that I will be improving this. Maybe to make the output longer, but also to include affiliate links, affiliate images, you know, banners, that kind of thing. So if you've got any suggestions, if you've got anything that you want this to be able to do, let me know. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.